Uh, greetings, fantasy players and uh, football fans everywhere. I am Austin Zbrowski, your commissioner for the week. and I am Eric Spohr, co-commissioner for the week. And we will be get, delivering the State of the League address because the current commissioner has been, we'll say, failing to meet his, to meet his obligations. He had a big test. He had a big test. So, um, without further ado, I think we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is announce the Weasel of the Week. And the Weasel of the Week, it's unanimous, Team Sharon. Team, Team Sharon, Sharon, you are the Weasel of the Week. You failed to put up more than 65 points. You got beat by Johnny Team, a 2-6 and six team who's making a comeback, making a run for the money. We're not thinking he's going to win everything, but he's making a run. You left Calvin Johnson on your bench who had a bye week, and you also decided to tell us in Super 6 that you're doing well in other leagues. We don't care about other leagues. This is um, the league that you should be paying attention to. You are the Weasel of the Week. You have no excuse. Next, for the Wall of the Week, we decided that we were going to go with the Waluigi Mystiques, as per John Paul would approve. But when you really look down at it, the Waluigi Mystiques beat First and Golem, and that's quite a tremendous accomplishment. First and Golem and the Waluigi Mystiques, both 5-3, and three, both good teams. Good win for the Waluigi Mystiques, and I think they're going to <coughs> I think they're pretty satisfied with, with the 126 points that they put up. Um, looking, looking to Week 10, um, the Waluigi Mystiques are going up against the Ranger Robs, and do you think they're they're going to continue their winning streak? You know, I don't think so. I think the Ranger Robs uh, have a good chance at winning this one. They're they're projected 128, 129 points, and I think that's fairly impressive. Now the Ranger Robs made some key moves. Look for them to be a trading possibility in the future because they have a lot of depth on their team, and they're looking to make a strike at um, Team Better Spore and Auto Draft Auto Draft. That's true. They're looking to jump up a couple uh, a couple ranks and be in that part of that four horse mm-hmm. race. Um, like I said, they want to try to catch up to Team Better Sport, and uh, what better opponent to have Team Better Sport going up against than First and Golem? That's going to be the game of the week, Austin. It's the game of the week. Uh, the point differential projection is is two points. Um, look for Julius Thomas to be the difference maker in this game. I think he's going to have a big game. I think um, First and Golem is going to come away with the victory. I think you're right. Next, we'll look to auto draft, auto draft against Team Sharon. Now, prior to Team Sharon's struggles last week, we're going to go with him this week. We think that he has a good chance against a four and four auto draft, auto draft team. But we feel that auto draft is really going to struggle this week, and Team Sharon is really going to excel. It's true, um, Team Sharon. You should be thanking us. You are the weasel of last week, and we're picking you to win this week. That is quite the accomplishment. Um, but we think you have a good team. We think you have what it takes. Um, your projected total is 131 points, and auto draft, auto draft, uh, simply can't can't compete with that. Um, looking to a team that can compete with 131 points, the uh, the league's top scorer so far, the fire breathing rubber duckies. That's true. They're projected 146 points as per usual. Mm-hmm. Playing Johnny team, who's mm-hmm. been struggling. They did play well last week, but they're only projected 100 points this week. So I think uh, with their top scorer being uh, uh, Mr. Reed at 10 points, that's kind of rough for Johnny Team. Look for Johnny Team, Johnny Team to snap their winning streak of two. Um, Johnny Team simply doesn't have the depth. I Rumor has it that they were offered a trade that would have benefited both them and the Ranger Robs, and they didn't take that opportunity. Yeah, you can't you can't miss out on on crucial crucial opportunities mm-hmm. like that, especially with a, with a struggling two and six team who's just trying to uh, trying to win some games. That's something you got to take it up. Yep, Johnny team made a mistake. Um, so, anyways, that concludes our state of the league address. Uh, we look forward to another great week. Um, again, keep the trading blocks open and. Uh, Look for uh, the Ranger Robs to make a, a big move in Week 10. All right. That's all we have. So we're going to sign off. Enjoy, fantasiers.